Hello and welcome to vlog number 107. This week at the request of YouTube user Bickle Seagrave Trailer Guy, I'm going to talk about hypermimia in Parkinson's disease. Hypermimia is the technical term for a reduction in or absence of facial expression and this is something that can affect people with Parkinson's. It is caused in PD by motor impairments such as paralysis or weakness of the facial muscles and is generally referred to as facial masking or the Parkinson's mask. Masking can develop as disease progression causes the loss of motor control in the muscles of the face and results in the loss of important non-verbal communication which can increase the sense of isolation experienced by people with Parkinson's due to the reaction of others who may be put off or disturbed by the lack of emotional response. Human beings communicate not just with words but also with an array of subtle and fast moving changes in facial expression. So when a person loses the ability to convey emotions and interest then they can be considered by others to be depressed, less sociable, even to be less capable cognitively. As well as affecting involuntary facial expression, masking can affect eye movement and blinking and voluntary expressions such as smiling. The perception can be that the person with Parkinson's is uninterested in or bored with the conversation, which can be frustrating for them and which may mean that others will avoid future interaction with them. Research into the facial masking that occurs with Parkinson's has shown that more masking is apparent when responding to negative questions and less masking is seen when responding to positive questions. So, can anything be done to lessen facial masking? Parkinson's medication such as levodopa can help manage the motor symptoms of PD, including facial masking. And I found that my DBS had a dramatic impact initially. Progression seems to be catching up with me now, but I'm hopeful that some adjustments to the programming of my neurostimulator will benefit me when I go for a tune-up next February. Additionally, facial exercises can help patients recover and retain their facial expression to a certain degree. These exercises and other rehabilitative approaches such as choir singing have proved valuable in helping people with Parkinson's segregate and control specific facial muscles more effectively when communicating and have been shown to improve quality of life in people with Parkinson's. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.